Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Airtable Power BI in 2024. So we'll be connecting today to Powerful Tool. Of course, Airtable Power BI will allow you to create some advanced data visualization and generate reports from your Airtable data. So basically, I'll show you how the easiest way to connect like the two platforms and start building some insightful dashboards. Make sure to stick by. And let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here using brave for you you can use what you want go to the charlotte section basically just type earthtable.com and hit the enter button if it's your first time of course you'll be taken here to this page so here you can click on sign in to sign in into your account account if you don't have an account instead click on sign up for free and you can use, of course, a Google account or Apple ID if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating, even logging in. You have even this option of sign, sign on if you just want to use it once to maybe database or something like that, export it somewhere. And again, you don't save it into an account or something like that. You can use that. So once you're logged in, you'll find yourself in this home page. Here, you can first of all go and create a workspace. If you don't have a workspace yet, click on plus, name it what you want, and you should be good. Other than that, once you create your workspace, of course, you will need to have some databases, or sorry, some bases, not databases. So you have four ways to create some bases. Normally for me, I have already here some bases, but for you, if you don't have some bases, all you need to do, as we said, just start uh, from scratch either. Either start from scratch, create something by your own, either quickly upload something from somewhere. As you can see, you can upload multiple stuff. So if you want to connect it, you will have, of course, to either import it from uh, data from Power BI to Airtable, as example here. And as you can see, there is no Power BI in here. So you can go and click on Submit Request, uh, look for Power BI in here again. If you didn't find it, just go and click on Others, and you can simply type Power BI in here, and go and click on Submit, as simple as that. So just submit this survey example, and they will definitely add it if they see like uh, multiple people want it or something especially if you have a big team other than that you can start from a template as an example uh, you can go and create your own basis so just scroll down click on see all templates in here once you click on that as you can see you have they have multiple templates here. scroll down you'll find even sign templates operation templates it Find chain uh, supply chain management templates as an example educational if you keep scrolling down you find load more categories and etc you'll find the category that you want and the template that you want for sure if that's not the case you can even go and create your own template with ai just type whatever you want in here uh, add maybe the organization name industry and all you can see if you want to change the color however you want to then click on next one it will be if you like us go and click on use it or create if you don't you can simply scroll down. so for me as an example i'll just go here and use templates or this yeah this in here so we can try to Power BI. And meanwhile, of course, let me just go here and open like Power BI. Of course, you either have to open it right here in the desktop, or you can also go to the URL section and go to powerbi.com or Power BI basically. Here I have just this is just like playground, which is like a demo where you can try stuff here. But of course, you can just all either open it in the browser or open it here. It's totally up to you. So as an example here, to connect Power BI to our table, you can go here and click on get data from other sources if you didn't have sources that you want. So as an example here, we'll find all and we can look basically for our table. So let me just go here and look for our table as an example. And as you can see, we will not find our table. So basically what can we do to connect them together? So it's very easy to do. What you'll have to do, go back to your browser and you'll need to export your data as a CSV file, as simple as that. Export as a CSV file, then come back in here and import it as a CSV file. Very simple, right? So come here to export it as a CSV file. Just go to this grid view, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and here. And if you scroll down, you'll find the download CSV. Don't click on that. See, prepare CSV download, and here you are. You can download it however you want. So yeah, I'll just go here and click on save. And as you can see, it's added. Now I can go to Power BI. And all I need to do, just go as an example and go and click on get data. 
again now i'll just go and choose text uh, slash csv and click on connect and of course i'll have to choose where i want to download or get this data from of course for me i'll just go and select that you can see here's the data select it and connect in so as you can see it will import everything that they had in here everything of course this is from projects table of course you can also import things from here from tasks table from assignments from team members etc and it connects all of them so as you can see uh, you'll find your data right here you can simply now just go and click on load so once you click on load this example it's connected so as an example in your chain so as you can see six is loaded and build visual with your data so example here you can build some interfaces with the data that you get and etc and but basically whatever you had is now connected uh, and our table of course is now connected to our table see oh sorry it's connected to power bi as simple as that uh, other than that as you said you can even go and do the same for tasks so we'll go here click on download uh, yeah so I'll just i'll just let it that save again go back here get more data as example see the file again click on connects and tasks example i'll see again the preview here it's different see everything about us you can also add delimiter uh, file origin example uh, or change uh, dot, uh, data type detection you can extract like table using examples you can transform data as example to somewhere or somehow however you want basically and yeah so do you want to apply changes no now so yeah of course you can apply changes and again it will be added so in here basically you'll find the two things that you connected or that you uploaded in here or imported in here and yeah basically that's how you connect our table to power bi so that's gonna basically it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video